It was back on the road again and off to Tawas Point State Park, an autumn experience that will make you feel as if the world was nothing but the feel of wind, lake, and solitude. Wind and waves have washed almost two miles of snowy white sand at this Lower Peninsula State Park, which curves around a breezy point between Lake Huron and Tawas Bay. None of the more than 190 campsites at the nearly 200-acre park are far from the water. When staying at this beautiful park, you will discover that it is one of the most unique parks in the state park system. When you wake up in the morning, you will be greeted by a wonderful sunrise, and when the shadows lengthen, you will head for the beach to watch the sunset across Tawas Bay. Time now, we've come out to Tawas Point, out to the state park here, and this is known as a birding area. Okay. Uh, why is it so good for birding? Well, the birds flying south on the fall migration um, are naturally funneled into Tawas Point. And then once they're here, they have to either decide to fly across the open waters or continue on the shoreline. Um, but because of the winds, um, sometimes the birds are stranded here two or three days. So the fall migration is a great time to come out birding here at Talis Point. Well, I wonder if we've got a chance today to maybe spot a few around here because we've got the wind. We should do. So, but what we'll do is we'll take a walk on um, the Audubon um, trails and see what we can find. Okay, good idea. On the park's lake here on shore, you can wade into the waves and stroll walkways that circle marshes where songbirds serenade. The Sandy Hook Nature Trail meanders past meadows of wildflowers and through rolling dunes to Tawas Point Lighthouse, which has been guiding freighters and other craft for 130 years. Windsurfers sail across the waves and anglers cast from boats just offshore. A bicycle path connects the beach with the nearby town of East Tawas. There and in the neighboring town of Tawas City, shops, restaurants, and motels cater to vacationers. We met with Brian Lafeev, the owner of Great Lakes Kiteboarding, earlier this summer, and here's a quote from him on kiteboarding and windsurfing at Tawas Point. This is one of my all-time favorite spots for kiting. Steady wind, shallow water, and very large beach. Tawas Point curves out into Lake Huron and is exposed to the thermals throughout the summer. When the land heats up, it pulls in the southeasterlies around 12 o'clock and usually lasts till evening. The water level is up this year, so there are very few sandbars. We're walking down a really nice little trail right now. It's called the Sandy Hook Trail. And uh, it's used, I think, probably primarily by the birders that are out here uh, for the birding time of the year because it does go down along the coastline here and it is an interpretive trail I see here too. It is. Um, also, this particular spot here talks about the different wildflowers. Um, okay. Whether it be spring, summer, fall, different um, vegetation that is uh, native to the sandy shores of the area. Okay, and that's basically what you're going to find on these signs and it's going to tell you something about the area you're standing around and what you're looking at. So really helpful when you come out here and it's just a great walk on any day. It's a beautiful walk. This was a lighthouse day. With the high winds, overcast skies, and waves bouncing off the shore, you could almost see the light burning late into the night for the ships that sailed along this mighty shore. I can feel it in my bones, said a skipper familiar with the weather and, surprisingly, the deadliest of the Great Lakes. There's a nor'easter a whippin' and that light will save many a poor soul from the clutches of the meanest and nastiest of all the Great Lakes, Lake Huron. A lot of the reasons why they don't want you off the trail is because of the erosion and just to protect the natural environment. Okay. And I noticed from this, we're, we're up on a little, almost like a little tiny sand dune. I know it's all covered with uh, with all kinds of brush, but we're kind of up in the air, both off the beach here to this side, and then it drops down a little bit to this side. Good spot to come out to, uh, maybe look around to spot some of the birds down in through here. But it's also, I'll tell you what, you come out here during the summer and sit down on this bench right here and look out at the beach. And wow, what a nice shot that is. It's a beautiful view across the bay. That'd be a great sunset. 